ghastly Fink fellow has been busy of late. He has sent his minions out to prowl the city on the lookout for tears wherever they might appear. They are armed with camera and voxophone. One could only presume he is no longer content to steal patents from his own reality. No surprise, then, his scientific breakthroughs. I imagine I could also appropriate parlor tricks like incinerating trees with a snap of my fingers. But the universe offers more delicious fish to fry. When I finally brought my brother through, he seemed to lack the capacity to square his own reality with this one. I suspected such a thing would happen, yet had no means to accommodate his distress. His behavior was that of the feeble-minded. He hemorrhaged nearly continuously from his nose. Naturally, I was able to transfuse him from my own veins and thus avoid catastrophe. In the end, it was music that proved therapeutic and grounded his thoughts. A middle C vibrates at 262 hertz, no matter what the universe. Brother, I have told you many times that I encountered this particular Caesar before he crossed the Rubicon. When I met Comstock, he was little more than a preacher, able to move both members of the flock or members of Congress with equal dexterity. He believed in my work, and his influence bought the funds I so needed. And if he wanted to use tears to play profit, that was his prerogative. But at some point, the man became incapable of distinguishing his performance from his person. I sit in judgment. But then again, it was I who built the stage. Thinks Bird is a repulsive creature, but I suppose a prison needs a guard. What surprised me is not how the girl has imprinted upon the monster. After all, one might observe a baby chimpanzee except a wire replica for its mother. But I did not expect the brute to be capable of forming an attachment in return. Perhaps it could prove a better father to her than the two she has known. This evening, on my way back from supper, my theory became reality. A spontaneous tear had opened in the market district, emitting both sights and sounds. I observed what I could only imagine to be some future version of Columbia. Though familiar, strange red flags with a small yellow icon flew from her rooftops. Although we can lock up the girl, it appears her powers will not be imprisoned so easily.